What's up folks, Cruiser777 here, and I just thought I'd report to you from my backyard on this beautiful day. I believe it's August 20th, uh, 2011. And uh, I just came back from my bike ride with the Team Alpha Task Force, Mr. Biggs, and um, that's why I'm wearing my bright shirt, my bright gear. But um, I thought in honor of the end of the summer, I'll go ahead and show you what's in my bug out bag. So this is the update y'all been waiting for, right? <laughs> anyway, um, so here it is. Um, I got this at a military surplus store. Believe it or not, I got a really great deal. It was only, what, like 20, 30 bucks. Um, I can even tell you, um, I can even tell you, I think it's called Major Surplus and it's in the city of Gardena. Um, I can verify that and I'll throw that up on an annotation if you need. But it's it's a really snazzy bag. I mean, it ha it's like, you know, it has the camo, the army camo. Um, also, it has a little um, waist support to get the weight off of your back and onto your hips. Um, and yes, that is my machete. I'll go ahead and whip this out for you. So here it is, and I am off to the wilderness to cut down some bushes and to bug out in case of martial law. So I'll just go ahead and show you in my backyard. Um, here's my weeds. Cutting them, cutting them down, cutting them down. Woo! <laughs> okay, I had a little bit too much fun with that. But um, yeah, come on in with me. I'll show you all about my bug out bag and the contents of it inside and i um, just going to head you on into my little patio area. This I got at Walmart, I think for like an astounding amount of like, I don't know, seven, ten bucks. I don't know, something ridiculously cheap and I was like, wow, this is really handy to have just in case, you know, you bug out or whatever. It's not very sharp, but I'm sure you can sharpen it. It's kind of dull. And um, here is my bug out bag. So as you can see on the back, it comes with lining support, which is awesome because it's really, really comfy to wear, even um, even uh, on the uh, the First shoulder strap. Okay. So, on my left side, and the reason why I made this all convenient for me, this way, if I'm like hiking and I just need a snack and I don't want to really open up um, my whole cabinet, um, I went ahead and I just stuffed it with a whole bunch of like little snacks that I got. And I went ahead and got a whole bunch of condiments. I've always kind of thought of bugging out as something that you do like in worst case scenarios. I really so like to go hunting. Hunt. You know, I can just go ahead and season my my kill with a whole bunch of like, condiments. So I thought, oh, that's a good idea. Might as well pack some. I don't know, maybe that's just me fantasizing about what's really going to happen. Who knows? Um, next, I have a little bag, and this has a whole bunch of stuff in it. It has, like, Slim Jim, and it has, um, it has Oatmeal Crunch, it has some almonds, um, what other things do I have in here? Peanuts, all that extra stuff. Okay. I've got some... Um, energy bars. This is a cliff bar. I love cliff bars. Let's see what else I got. I got um, balance bear bar. Definitely important to have performance um, power bars. These you can never go, never have enough of these, even when you're just training or whatever. So I packed a whole bunch in there. Oh, this is important. Shot blocks. I use this when I'm on the road all the time, when I'm just training. Um, and I even got uh, Mr. Biggs, General Biggs, to go ahead and get some too because they've just come in so handy. They're just extra electrolytes and sodium and ingredients, potassium and stuff that you need when you're just working out and building a, a sweat. Um, you never know when you're going to need tequila. Tequila is just a part of your balance nutrition. Anyway, um, and there is a theory behind that which I can tell you. Oh, I brought a fork. And I brought some um, electrolytes that you can put in a water bottle. Let's see here. More bars, bags that I've twisted up into little tiny things. Let's see here. Oh, here's something thoughtful. Broccoli seeds and onion seeds. If you ever had to relocate, well, hey, you can start your own little garden. Okay, on to my right side. Um, so in here, uh, I've packed some um, good hygiene. I mean, this is really important. Some sunscreen, 
Got this at Walgreens for like a buck. It's 50 SPF. You can never go wrong with that. More tissues for on the road. Um, got this awesome flashlight. It's a lead light. And I just thought, hey, I need one. Um, I've got some goggles, protection goggles. Um, also, I have um, some glow sticks just in case, like, you know, I needed to see in the middle of the night and it was pitch black and I'd have glow sticks. Um, underarm deodorant. What else? Oh, I've got zip ties. I found these. Look at these are pretty cool. Here's some black zip ties and they're the smaller kind. And then I've got some green zip ties and they're the larger ones. So I thought, hey, need zip ties. Okay. Uh, more tissue paper. Um, in here, let's see. What's in here? Anything important? Oh yeah, I've got some matches, so that's good. Okay. Um, I just pulled this out. This is like a little um, army lanyard. And then what else do I have? Got more tissue paper. Um, I've got um, paper clips in here. And it's in a tin. I thought this might be handy just in case I needed it for maybe like a little snare trap or whatever. Some paper clips. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. What is in your bag? What you got in that bag? Let's um, see I got some hand sanitizer. Let's put that over on the side here. Um, this I got at REI. It's a little day pack first aid kit. And the great thing is if I was hiking around I can always whip this out, put it in my little day pack. And I've got like a, a survival guide and I've got like a couple other tools okay. in here. So as far as this, it's one cabinet like I said. So I decided to um, put a couple of big bags in, in here. This is where it gets interesting. In here I have a respirator, another one, a mouth guard. Um, I have also have strike on matches. I have um, some calamine, I've got some alcohol, I've got um, some petroleum gel, and I've got this awesome poncho. I was given this as a gift for entering into one of Team Alpha Task Force's um, giveaway um, contests. Um, let's see here. And here's where I keep like all of my like personal hygiene. It's a little bag, um, and it has like face wash, and and it has like hair stuff and you know just just things to keep you clean i think that's important on the go i'm gonna go ahead and leave that there um um in here i've got some women essentials let's see here i've got a bag in there i've got more underarm deodorant maybe i should take one out yeah take one out okay and this i have a little sewing kit I have some medicine, I have um, some matches, some tape, um, and then there's a lot of other goodies, bags, um, little baggies, Colgate, uh, let's see here, I've got some wipies to keep yourself clean when you're on the go. I know our soldiers use that when they're off at war. Um, this is kind of interesting, this is a little, let's see if I can just pop that open here, it's a little tool kit. And it's just little like like precision precision screwdrivers. I don't know if I really need this in here. I might just take it out. Let's see here. Ah, some I got some paracord here, utility cord. Um, I think this is great. Can never do without. I've got some more rope, some cord, paracord. So I'm just missing a big rope next. I need to get one of those. Um, this is a shovel, actually. This is my emergency water. Okay, so here's the shovel. And basically, it's just like you kind of unfold it like that. And then there you go. So if you needed to dig a hole or whatever, then there you go. Perfect. And what else have I got? Oh, and then another bag full of, like, emergency stuff. Here's some, like, fire starter, um, some some pills, medicine, and, and more gloves that I might be needing. And I think this might be a little bit too heavy, but this is like wood light starter. Like, cause I already have some in there. I think maybe, maybe this would be heavy. Let me know what you think about that. Next part, I have a Rambo blade. I call this a Rambo blade because it has like, you know, let me just unwrap it for you. 
see look at that isn't that awesome doesn't that look like sharp and amazing and it is it is really sharp and it has a little jagged edges I got this at my military surplus store what does it say Maxim I love it I love it I love it um, so I'm gonna place that right there and so this is the next bag that I have packed and this basically is another day bag type little backpack deal, but it's camouflage. The other one is red, notice me red, and this one's more camouflage. And it has what? U.S. Army. Army strong. Go army.com. Um, and this has my clothes in it. So, I mean, I packed, I packed mostly summer wear in here. Um, I have like three shirts, a couple of like sports bras. I have like three, um... Um, pairs of socks, underwear, and um, just something comfortable to sleep in. So that's what I have for that. This is the cabinet that I was telling you about. It's just one long cabinet. What do I have down there? Okay, so this is like my winter stuff. And this is like some proppers that I use for training when we do our little operations and stuff. Um, so I got the small, they fit me pretty well, um, and they're, they're awesome because they're like cargo pants, so they have like all these pockets. I use that when we go to Tax City, and that's pretty fun. And then I have also um, a shirt that goes with it, and I think this might be proper too, but it's definitely that thick linen, you know, that, that cotton that you need. For, it's like some type of fiber, I'm not sure, it's probably not all cotton. Yeah, it's definitely not all cotton, but it's just thick and it's good for like, you know, winter wear and stuff. And last but surely not least in the cabinet, I have these little baby wipes. So that's all I have in my bug out bag, you guys. And I just want to share that with you so you didn't think I wasn't doing anything. I'm still prepping, still moving forward. And uh, thanks for the support. So thanks for watching my bug out bag video. It's an updated version of the one I did over a year ago. So quite a bit of progress. You guys are awesome. I really enjoy watching your videos. You've really taught me a lot, especially in this crazy world that we're living in right now. Um, you know, an earthquake is bound to happen. Something is bound to happen. So we might as well be prepared for that and keep on prepping and enjoy the rest of your day. Cruise out.